हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 1.7 एंड प्रॉब्लम 1.8 फ्रॉम द चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर 1 फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडीएस टॉप एंड मीकोंकी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल solve problem 1.7 in these two problems the application of non flow equation is discussed and non flow equation is applied in both the problems so that's why we have combined them in one lecture so the statement of problem 1.7 is in an air compressor the compression takes place at a constant internal energy and 50 kilo kilo joule of heat are rejected to the cooling water for every kilogram of air calculate the work input for the compression stroke per kilogram of air so first of all we will solve problem 1.7 problem 1.7 so given data is there is constant internal energy means there is no change in internal energy during the process so u2 will be equal to u1 or u2 minus u1 will be equal to 0 also we can write that u2 is equal to u1 there is slight difference between capital u and small u capital u is only internal energy and small u is specific internal energy so here there is constant internal energy and this is specific internal energy actually because in the rest of the problem the heat is also in kilo joule per kilogram and we have to also find the work input in kilo joule per kilogram so we are required to find the work input required for compression wc this is required the solution of this problem is very simple because simple form of non flow equation can be used in the solution so from non flow equation here there are two forms of non flow equation this is u2 minus u1 is equal to q plus w and for unit mass it is q plus w is equal to u2 minus u1 here there is unit mass in this problem so second form of non flow equation can be used q plus w is equal to u2 minus u1 here we have also given in the problem that 50 kilo joule per kilogram of heat is rejected so by convention the value of q will be treated as negative minus 50 kilo joule per kilogram because by convention in thermodynamic we have studied that work input to the system is considered as positive while the work output yeah r 
heat output from the system is considered as negative. So when we put this in this non free equation, Q is minus 50 kilojoule per kilogram. W is unknown, we have to find it. And second is there is no change in specific internal energy, so it will be equal to zero. So the value of W from this problem is equal to 50 kilojoule per kilogram. So this is the work of compression for problem 1.7. Now coming to problem 1.8, the statement of the problem is in the compression stroke of a gas engine, the work done on the gas by the piston is 70 kilojoule per kilogram and the heat rejected in the cooling water is 42 kilojoule per kilogram. Calculate the change of specific internal energy stating whether, whether it is a gain or loss. So in this problem, problem 1.8 we have given that the work of compression will be taken as positive because it is input to the system. WC are simple W which is 70 kilojoule per kilogram and the value of heat rejected this is rejection and it is output from the system so it will be taken as negative minus 42 kilojoule per kilogram so these two quantities have given in this problem we are required to find the change in specific internal energy means delta small u r equal to small u2 minus small u1. We are required to find the change in internal energy. Again we can use this non fluid equation form Q plus W is equal to u2 minus u1 for the solution of this problem. So Q plus W is equal to u2 minus u1. Q is given which is minus 42 kilojoule per kilogram. The value of W is also given which is 70 kilojoule per kilogram. So it is further equal to delta small u u2 minus u1. So simplifying this the value of change in specific internal energy comes out plus 28 kilojoule per kilogram. So this is the required change in inter specific internal energy for problem 1.8. So these are the required solution of problem 1.7 and problem 1.8. There is the change in specific internal energy has positive value that is plus 28 kilojoule per kilogram. So we can say that this is gain in internal energy or gain in specific internal energy. If this value is negative then this this is treated as loss in specific internal energy. So here in this specific problem 
we got the change in specific energy plus 0.8 kilojoule per kilogram it means that there is gain in specific internal energy thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos